imagined by Lorenzo Shade. I'm Kristen Grew, and I'll be customer and reading stage directions. I'm Hannah Miller, and I'll be reading Nora. I'm Buddy Lorenz, and I'll be reading for Bill. I'm Christy Chow, and I'll be reading for Lorelai. I'm Kathleen, and I'll be reading for Poncho. I'm Lorenzo Shade, I wrote this play, and I'll be performing Lorelai's song.
Shirley's nice. Are you guys the thing? The way you and Cassie were at the beginning of college, or? Yeah, she's nothing like Cassie. Cassie was crazy. Crazy, I don't. Uh, yeah, Cassie was a total bitch. A total bitch? A bit demanding, but nothing I was labeled bitch. No, she was certifiably crazy bitch. You didn't know her like I did. I guess, but are you sure you're not misremembering and just being a little asshole? Maybe not. <laughs> she, uh. We. The relationship ended badly, right? Yeah. Well, that doesn't make her crazy. Whatever, Lorelai. The moral of that story is we're not talking still. You could have just said that. Whatever. I mean, isn't that hard to think we're not talking? It is! <laughs> <laughs> I mean. She's engaged to someone else already. Excuse me? It's no big deal. No big deal? Bill, she was your high school sweetheart, the girl you dated all through college. Well, 18 months later, she's engaged. Yeah. Yeah. When did you find out? Two days ago. Shit. This is a cryptic text. I can't really talk to anyone else about it. Except maybe Nora, but you've always been for me there, so... Yeah. yeah. Mm, definitely. That's not really sucks, dude. Wanna go to a strip club like we used to in college? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to things that make me happy. <laughs> I love that you come into the shop every day. I think Poncho likes it even more. Well, Sam, he's sweet and cute in that Michael Sarah and Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> 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 Destroy him in a heartbeat. He's convinced he's going to win you over. Who? His idea of me or the real me? I don't think he'd be happy with either. Ha, therein lies the problem. He asked me if I liked going to used bookstores and poetry slams. And if I had a blog. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you do like those things. And your blog is quite witty, even if it is a bit heavy with the liberalism. <laughs> Give him a chance. <clears throat> He's really not that bad. He's got that whole artist thing going. I've noticed. His paintings are the ones in the shop, right? Yep, those would be his. Oh, plus, you were there when he played that last open mic, right? Oh, yeah, he played that fastball song. The lyrics were, digging a hole down to your room. I watched you disappear. Too young, too soon. Yep, that's it. He's kind of in love with them. Though your song is all he was talking about for weeks. <laughs> Just a cover of a cover. A cover of a pixie song. Come on, with your pedigree, you, you've got to know what kind of points that scores you. Bill, I only do these open mics because you ask me to do them. Well, I ask you so you can get some petty cash and so I can get all the angsty art types because you're a goddess to them. <laughs> <laughs> you get my work in front of people. Ever the artist. Speaking of, uh, if you happen to have anything new, I'm having another one next Friday. Well, I have a thing, but I didn't really want to go to it anyway. So you'll be there. Oh, and bring Nora. Are you still eyeing her, Bill? Uh, what? No. That was a long time ago. Moral <laughs> 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 and Bill toast each other and drink. Like. Thank you, and see you next time. Lorelai enters and approaches the counter. And what can I get you? Oh! oh. <laughs> hey, Lorelai. <laughs> Give it any thoughts to my proposition? <laughs> Ask me after I get my tea. Oh, right. One ginger lavender tea coming right up. Poncho makes the tea. He hands Lorelai the teapot and mug. She walks to her table. He runs to Lorelai. Hey! I didn't give you an answer. <laughs> Are you performing at the open mic this Friday? What? Are you performing at the open mic? This Friday? Yes, unless there's <coughs> another one going on that Bill didn't tell me about. Oh, no, no, you got it right. Uh, yeah, I was planning on playing the song or something. Oh, good, I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, wait, should I be worried? Only if you want to grab a drink with me. Ah, so this is a test then. Well, <laughs> are you going to perform? <laughs> Bill asked me to, but I don't know. I don't have any new material. I mean, I guess I could find something if you really need me to. Don't act so coy. I know that every time you have a new novel with you, it means you're, work you're working on something new. Pancho picks up the book. Paper Towns by John Green. I don't read as quickly as people think. He's your favorite author, right? Uh, yeah, he is. Can I get that back now? Lorelai swipes at her book in Pancho's hand. <coughs> Before that, we were just looking at ideas of each other. Like looking at your window shade, but never seeing inside. But once the vessel cracks, the lights can get in, 
the light can get out. Lorelai snags the book back from him. John Green is one of the best novelists of our time. I can tell. Isn't he that author, uh, if people were rain, I was drizzled? She was a hurricane. <laughs> yes, that'd be the one. <laughs> <laughs> I've read that book. <clears throat> Inspiration for your new project? Be there on Friday, Friday and find out. And maybe I'll give you the answer you want. Lorelai shoves her stuff back into her bag and breathes off stage. Hey, wait! <laughs> See you Friday, then. Poncho picks up Lorelai's abandoned mug and returns to its place behind the counter and fiddles with the coffee machine. Light. Scene. The next Friday in the coffee <coughs> shop. Nora lounges with a mug of coffee amongst a gathering crowd. We hear the final strange strains of a song that sounds vaguely folksy and Celtic from a singer on stage. Poncho's behind the counter. Bill leans against the counter behind him. Lorelai enters, spots Nora, and walks over. Oh, good, you're back. I thought you fell in. I'm not drunk, Nora. Nora might be capable of doing something like that. You're not drunk yet. I know how you get. Especially since uh, Let's not talk about my nerves, all right? Plus, I'm pretty sure I just emptied everything that would keep me from being a drunken fool. <laughs> At least you missed pitiful folk singer number three. So sad. So angsty. I could barely believe they lived through such pain. <laughs>
that was our very own Poncho. Let's hear it again. Next up, we have a pillar of our artistic community, Lorelai. Get up here, Lorelai. Nora whoops from the crowd and Poncho whoop. claps over. <laughs> <laughs> Bill hops off the stage and assumes his position next to Nora. Hello, everyone. The song's called Pixie Dust. Still pretty new, so sorry if it's not quite there yet. Nora Campbell, 
dancing on glass tables, and screaming at Lorelai that you were living in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> screaming that sounds right, but I know I wouldn't have been dancing on a glass table. Maybe a normal table. <laughs> well, it was college. Uh, yes. The age of reveling at strip clubs and bars and a hopeless romantic Lorelai. Those were the days. And yet, how much has changed? It's only been a few years. And I know I keep saying this, but I'm glad we're doing this. It's been too long since we've hung out. Just you and me. Agreed. I've missed you. I've missed you too. <coughs> Lights up on both bars. I'm not saying Picasso wasn't a genius, but Stalin and Miro have a certain quality that Picasso can't have. Blasphemy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. You've got to be kidding me. Obviously, they're far superior. Picasso is an artistic genius that surpassed all of his contemporaries. Picasso is overrated. Stalin created works that so aptly commented on Spanish politics. No one else could have done it. Look, the talking heads completely revolutionized <laughs> rock music in the 1970s. Uh, hello, the Ramones come to mind. He didn't create his own new genre. He only added another flavor to the set of archaic structures. That's bullshit and you know it. He was the revolutionary. Dolly and Moreau are the ones who followed him. God, you're hot when you're passionate. Lorelai <laughs> <laughs> grabs Pancho's hand and drags him off stage. Bill leans in for the kiss, but Nora laughs and pulls him off stage. Like, Please, <laughs> 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 outdoors in a park or possibly an urban street bordering on the park, <coughs> drizzling a light spring rain. Lorelai and Pancho run on stage. I love the rain. Nothing feels quite as good as spring rain falling on your face in the middle of the night. Lorelai spins, laughing and grinning. Poncho hovers his hand on her waist before dancing with her. Lorelai stops. Poncho touches his forehead to Lorelai's. What is it? It's night. Poncho, I need to be very, very clear. I'm not looking for a commitment. I just want something casual. Someone I see once a week or so. That I have sex with. <laughs> I don't belong to anyone or anything. I... I'm okay with that. <laughs> Casual works. Uh -huh. For me, yeah. That works. Then lead on. The pair of waltz off stage as Nora and Bill enter. <laughs> Stop it. No, no, seriously. Bill takes her into his arms and tries to kiss her. Nora playfully bounds away. I'm glad we're on the same page. Oh, we are definitely, finally, on the same page. Bill steps in and twirls Nora, then dips her. It only took five years. And one very long, failed relationship. Bill lets her up, and the two slow dance. Should have cut and run. Oh? Yeah. Yep. Bill twirls Nora again, this time leaving her off stage. Lights. Scene. Poncho's apartment. Poncho's apartment is sparse, but it's seen as mostly a mishmash of styles. The classic just graduated past. Poncho is sitting on a couch and Lorelai walks about the room. Your paintings are beautiful. The movement and motion in each stroke is so thoughtful. Paintings in the coffee shop are definitely not your best work compared to these. Bill bought those paintings from a collection I painted while still in art school. Why am I not surprised you went to art school? Hey, not all of us went to Vassar, Miss Summa Cum Laude. Oh, I should not have told you that. Lorelai sits down on his couch and snuggles up to him. I have something to give you. Mm-hmm. And what's that? Poncho stands, walks to a cabinet, takes something out, and sits back down next to Lorelai. I made you a mixtape. <laughs> uh, I know, I know. It's cheesy, but I really think you'll like it. Here, take it. As Lovers Go by Dashboard Professional. The Way by Fastball. Please, 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 let me get what I want. The Smith by Shane Hemp. Lorelai by Matt Pryor. You realize that that Lorelai is fucking insane, right? Yeah, I realize that now, but don't I get points for knowing who that is? Yes, so. Awesome. <coughs> I don't know this song. That's because I wrote it. <laughs> what, what even caught your attention? I mean, I keep to myself mostly, but you are quite persistent. You've got that Zoe Deschanel vibe going. And it's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> not fucking Zoe Deschanel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe Zoe Deschanel is the best example. I guess you're more Ramona Flowers from Scott Pilgrim. Seriously. Well, there isn't one thing that caught my attention, like... 
your attention to detail. You obviously care about what you do. Your passion and at the open mics are always so cool, but once you start performing, the piece takes over and it's mesmerizing. Oh, and when you're engrossed in a book, you twirl, twirl your hair. It's so cute and your hair is always perfectly tousled. I like that you take time to do anything that you think about things, not just important things like art and coffee, but <laughs> how you treat your books. You always treat your books with care. I don't know, you have this je ne sais quoi, and I like how sometimes you wear your glasses and you push them up so delicately, and, and I like that you wear your boots over your skinny jeans. You're just, you're remarkable. Pancho pulls her in for a kiss, but Lorelai turns away. That's, that's who you think I am. That me that exists in your head. That's not who I actually am. Why do you, you always want, you just want the idea. Are you saying you want <laughs> Yes. Except, this has happened before, but I thought maybe, I thought maybe this time would be, it could be, you were so, you were just so genuine. I was wrong. You know what, forget it, it's whatever. Lorelai, if you don't want to do this, it's fine. I'll sleep on the couch and you can take my bed. No, really, you can't. But no, that doesn't change how I feel about you. I still want to be with you. Give me a chance to get to know the real Lorelai. Is that enough for you? Lorelai leans in to kiss Pancho. Pancho shakes his head. I don't mean for just one night. I don't want to be with you just once. I want to get to know you. For, I want to get to know you for who you really are. If you're not willing to take that chance with me, then I'll sleep on the couch. My bedroom's over there. Make yourself at home. She moves away from her. Lorelai stands and begins to exit. She hesitates. Lorelai exits. Pancho rests, defeated. Lights. Scene: The morning after. Pancho's apartment. Pancho's in the kitchen cooking pancakes. Lorelai shuffles in. Morning. Morning. Did you sleep all right? Yeah, I did. Thanks for letting me use your bed. No problem. Pancho, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm cooking pancakes. <laughs> Lorelai, you don't have to. You go first. No, it's all right. I insist. I'm, I'm really, really sorry about last night. I really, I really do, do like you a lot. There's not some girls. I'll lead you on. <laughs> 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 Pancho is like, Did you say you like me? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you totally said that you like me. How are pancakes? See, I hate this. Pancakes are burning. Oh, right. Here, have some. Thank you. I like you too, Lorelei. I like you a lot. I mean what I said last night. I want to get to know you better and stuff, but. Totally respect your decision if you don't want a relationship or something. Thanks. I have to rethink some things. Totally understand. It might take a while. Well, I won't hold my breath this time. They eat in silence. I should probably go. Oh, of course. Still had a great time last night. Me too. Um, thanks for the pancakes and the bed. Really? No problem. See you at the shop? Yeah. Where else am I going to get the best coffee? See you then. Lorelai gathers her things, hugs Pancho, and exits. Like. See, Lorelai and Nora's apartment the next morning. Bill is in the kitchen brewing a fresh pot of coffee. It clicks, he pours himself a large mug. He sips it. Yeah, that will do. <laughs> <laughs> Lorelai exits. Hey, man, Slayer. What will it be? Pancakes and eggs, coffee, all with the side of that, Bill? Uh, Bill the best hang over here. Well, I've at least got the coffee. Could be better, though. I don't know how you drink this crap. Now you know why I go to your shop. Well, what, not the company? Want to talk about it? Is it that obvious? It is. Nora's still asleep? Don't avoid the question, but yes, she's still asleep. I just want to grow old alone with 50 dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Even after all these years, I know you're both being honest and lying. I don't know what I want anymore. I love me. Damn. One night with Pancho and you're rethinking your whole life plan? Not completely, just the alone portion. It's impossible for you to grow alone, to grow old by yourself, Lorelai. I do know. You'll have me. 
And Nora would be damned if you tried to shake her off. Up with you guys, aren't I? You are. I'm happy for you. I know. And I'm happy for you, too. Even if no Lorelai Poncho love connection ever happened. Nora enters, more hungover than a college student after her 21st birthday. <laughs> Coffee now. <laughs> stories later. There aren't any stories to tell. Lies. There are always stories to be told, my friend. Coffee for the lady. Well, not this time there aren't. Sir Poncho couldn't tame the mighty Lorelai. You, of all people, know I'm a fickle beast. At least give me some details. I don't know, he showed me some paintings, he made me admit to stays. Everything he thought I'd want. Poor guy. He was pandering to college Lorelai. But present Lorelai still enjoys those things. He gave it a good shot, but it's not what I want. Still the well-adjusted single lady. But he was cute Nora, and lady. charming. Let the lady have her mystery, Nora. <coughs> well, if you're okay with how things turned out, I'm okay with how things turned out. Thank you. And cheers to the both of you. Say toast, clinky mug. Nope, too early. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> Care to join? Bill <laughs> 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 and Nora kiss before acting together. Lorelai sits in the corner alone. She takes out her notebook and cell phone. She starts dialing, cancels, starts again, cancels again. She breathes deep, then finally allows it to ring. It goes to voicemail. You will reach William Poncho quickly, mm -hmm. who unfortunately is too busy being awesome to answer. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the message and I'll do my best to get back to you. Peace. <laughs> um, hey, hi, Poncho, me, Lorelai. Just calling to, uh, I just, I was thinking, maybe we could get coffee. Um, and start over. Yeah, I, let's get coffee, just coffee. Okay. So, yeah. Give me a call. Cheers. Lorelai hangs up. She puts down the phone and sits on her coffee. Her phone starts ringing aggressively. Poncho appears in the single spot. <laughs> hey, how are you? Sorry, hasn't really been that long. Hey, miss me already? Don't get so excited. I just, do you want to go get coffee? Coffee? Lorelai, are you asking me out on a date? I wouldn't call it a date, per se. My answer is yes either way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Starts to get ready and exit. Blackout. 